Lagi nga pa lagi. Hopefully you find your dream boy there. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know what's in store, but I know that it is going to be good and it is going to be beautiful. Hi, my name is Kayla and I'm 24 years old. I'm from Vacaville, California and I was in that island missionary. Just so like full of life. Um, yeah, I think that was my first impression of her. I think when I met her, like she was like jumping up and down. I was like, oh, <laughs> um, but I loved it. I guess before I met her, then people would, just, would be saying like, uh, like, oh, you're gonna love Kayla. Like she's gonna be your woman. <laughs> And so I went in with that impression when I met her. Something that she would share with me a lot is how Jesus was helping her grow her ability to love. So I knew Abby and Lena before going on mission because they are also part of my household. However, I never got to really, really know them. I went to prayer and I knew that I can either get through these three months and just do what we gotta do, or I can actually choose to love. So it was really interesting at first being with Abby and Lena. I think for me, I was so impacted by getting to know their hearts a lot more. They weren't just household sisters anymore to me because we grew so much emotionally. It's easier to love someone once you know their heart as a sister. She was just such a great example to me of how to actually love sacrificially. So basically we were holding posters that said, how can I pray for you? And I always said prayers for healing. So if anyone needed prayers for healing, they could come to us, right? This guy dressed up um, in a Michael Myers costume with like a fake bloody knife walked up to us. And I was really, <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, what's happening? And then he tells me his favorite Bible verse. Um, I forgot what it was, but I think it was like somewhere in Ephesians. And I was like, that's amazing. That, that's great. Um, would you like me to pray for you? And he's just like, no, I'm good, but God bless you. Thank you for what you're doing and left. Moral of the story is don't judge a book by its cover. Michael Myers knows Jesus too.